Hi, I'm Beth Schuster from the LA Times. With me is Howard Bloom, who covers Los Angeles Unified School District. Today is a hot day at LA Unified. Superintendent John Dacey has said he may leave the district. Today is his performance evaluation. We're going to be talking about that now. So Howard, tell us about how the superintendent has done in his two plus years here in LA. They've been two very busy years and he set some very lofty goals for himself. The district has made some improvements, but he hasn't hit his targets, and I can go over a few of those if you like. Sure. Okay, so for example, in elementary reading, he wanted 67% of students to be proficient by now. It's 51%, which was actually a little bit down. And in, in secondary math, he wanted 41% to be proficient. The number is 31%. Again, it's a little higher, but he's not hitting the targets that he set for himself. Okay, he also has reached out to a lot of supporters and supporters have reached out to him in the past week since he said he may leave. Can you talk a little bit about some of those supporters including one pretty prominent one from Washington DC? Well Arnie Duncan called me yesterday. I wondered if somebody was putting on, me on when I picked up the phone and said hi this is Arnie Duncan you know uh, but Arnie Duncan is unmistakable and he was calling to say that he felt the bumpy marriage between the school board and John Dacey should continue and that it was should continue in the best interest of the kids. It's sort of like don't get a divorce for the sake of the children, mm -hmm. <laughs> something like that. Uh, and United Way has organized a huge rally on behalf of Dacey at, at the board today. I mean Dacey is really popular among a lot of outside uh, civic groups. He's not as popular within the district among employees. And tell us a little bit about those detractors. Who are they and, and where's the friction there? Well, the, the friction it comes from people in the district who feel that they keep being asked to do more and more and more and they're being judged in a way that puts their job security at stake as never before in an era of diminished resources. So his support within the district is not that strong as far as I can tell. I mean, he does have supporters, but it, it, there's this odd dichotomy between the outside and the inside. And what is the source of some of this friction? What are some of the issues that have been of late that have, that have caused him to feel so uncomfortable here that he's, that he's threatening to leave? Some of it is genuinely philosophical. Like he would like to see raises for teachers be done on the basis of, of what he, they would call merit pay. So if they get good test scores or they do other, they accomplish other incentives, they would get more pay the school board is more inclined just to give a raise saying hey it's time for teachers to get a raise or they want to actually hire more staff to restore staffing to the levels before the recession and then on, on the part of the board uh, Dacey feels that they have tried to micromanage him second guess his activities and they haven't been actually able to tell him clearly what they want him to do and is there also an issue with the iPads well, yes, the iPads have been an issue. I, I don't know that it, it would be the make or break issue by itself, mm -hmm. but, it, it, but it, could be, it could be the thing that pushed him over the edge, the frustration over the rollout. And it hasn't been a total failure, but it's certainly not been a total success either. Okay, good. Thank you. Well, for more uh, from Howard Bloom and Teresa Watanabe and Stephen Caesar on LA Unified, please read latimes.com slash education.